Scorpio cross-referenced all the data Havoc Squad and Kaleo stole from Zakul. When we compared the enemy's comm logs to the Spire maps, we found something unexpected. There's a hyperwave relay station hidden 10,000 meters beneath the Spire. It's the only source of Gemini frequency transmissions to and from the Eternal Throne. I thought the Throne controlled the Eternal Fleet. Broadcasting a signal to thousands of ships across the galaxy takes tremendous energy. The relay station's powered by 200 reactors tapping directly into Sekul's planetary core. That relay station is our key to the Gemini frequency. If we can decrypt it, we'll eavesdrop on the enemy and learn his plans. Think bigger, Lana. We could send fake orders, have Arkin's own warships blast him off the throne. Why stop there? When the fleet's under your control, there's nothing you couldn't do with it. You'll never get near that relay station. It's ten kilometers underground and defended by more safeguards than we can count. Well, it's a good thing our data reveals every security measure in the way, and how to defeat them. A strike team can disable the defenses right under Arkan's nose, but only if we send it in now. Our intel's turning stale as we speak. Kaleo and Major Jorgen are already on Zakul. They're in position to clear the commander a path directly to the relay station. We are not sending that terrorist. She's done enough to my world. Senya's right. Can't believe I had to say that. Avic Squad was made for this op. We have enough detonite to turn that relay station into a crater. Cut the head off the serpent. Throw the fleet into chaos. You're trusting the fate of the galaxy to a gang of grenade-happy bucketheads? We're only getting one shot at this. Lucky for you, one shot is all I need. Oh, is that what you tell all your victims? Destroying that relay station is a bonehead play. Send me, and you'll control the Gemini frequency. The idea has potential, and she's an experienced infiltrator who survived on Zakul for years. She bombed my people. Never again. This alliance will never win if we can't function as a team. I need all of you to pull together and do what's necessary. It's not that simple. We need to draw Arkin's attention away from our true goal. That means creating a diversion. They're both accomplished at drawing attention. The real question is, who do you want with you at the relay station? If we can't take control of the Gemini frequency, we'll have to destroy it. Havoc Squad has the firepower for that job. Without me there to slice that relay station, Major Malfunction's suicide run will be a self-fulfilling prophecy. Give me a chance. We need a perfect diversion, and you're the best around. Just keep it clean. No civilians. Got it? What about pets? Kidding. See you at the rendezvous, Commander. If Kaleo's idea of a distraction results in harm to my people, I'll kill her myself. And I'll help. You can't please everyone. But it may be prudent to consult Valkorion. He built the Spire. He may tell you how to invade it.
Falcorian, we need to talk. Your life is defined by deeds, not words. And we have nothing to discuss. You took my power, and now come for my secrets. But you have not earned them. You always knew what controlled the Eternal Fleet. You should have told me. I am not your servant, and you have trifled with my patience for the last time. Something happened. I need your help. Your friends cannot hear you. I don't have time for your insanity. I have a mission on Zakul. You may still go, if you survive. You have forgotten what it means to face death alone. I will remind you. A path has been laid before you, but you refuse to tread upon it. That will change. Can you sense the predators closing in? Hmm. They smell your weakness. They would feast on it. to fulfill. I am tired of being disappointed by your lack of progress. The galaxy is finally united under a single banner. It should have been yours. My son struck a killing blow against you. Had I not interfered, you would be dead. Perhaps I should have let you go then. Despite your precious warship, a legion of allies, and my immense power at your disposal, you remain incomplete. You have survived many battles, but you are still merely a soldier.
Until you embrace your full potential, you will only be a pawn of fate, never its master. If you have all the answers, let's hear them. Start with why you let your son betray you. Arkan saw what he wanted and claimed it. What is your excuse for failing to do the same? The future is not a river to carry us. It is the ocean in which we drown if we are not prepared. You have two destinies, Outlander. In one, you defeat Arkan, claim the Eternal Throne, and remake the galaxy. In the other, you die alone, unmourned and forgotten. I brought you here to taste that defeat. You want me dead? If that's what it takes to get rid of you, do it. I will not gift you that release. Not yet. This was a fraction of the pain my children can inflict. If you do not finish your training, become something greater. You will feel the full weight of their rage. There's nothing you or your children can do to me that I won't survive. Your goal is not to survive. It is to rule. There is nothing else. I cannot stay to protect you any longer. There are matters to which I must attend. But I will leave you with a final token of my favor. Fulfill your destiny, and I promise to return. I've had enough of your threats. I never wanted this in the first place. You can stay gone. I hope this is not the end of our journey. And one day, so will you.
Cheer up, big brother. You're making me sad. Father won't face me himself. He's punishing you for stealing his chair. He isn't angry. Father never feels anything. Not even when I... When Vexen died. He was a good brother. Brought me gifts from all the worlds he conquered. I freed you from father's control. I hope that earned your... support. My loyalties lie here, Arkin. Always. Dragon's name! For millennia, Jedi and Sith archive their knowledge in holocrons. These legacies preserve the wisdom of great minds. Only those connected to the Force may use these devices. Valkorion's influence has granted you limited access, but it will be enough. There is wisdom in these holocrons for one who would create lasting change in the galaxy.
I've waited for you a long time. Welcome to my home, Outlander. Jedi Master Satil Sean. I dreamed about meeting like this. Tell me it's really happening this time. Whatever you believe this is, I'd rather not know. Yes, I'm going to offer a meal. Stop rushing me. You survived an ordeal. Come. Sit. There's food. I was brought here against my will. People are counting on me for help. I have to go. People are always counting on you. They won't stop just because you aren't there. Many things changed while you slept in Carbonite. I led the fight to save the Republic from Zakul. Nothing prepared me to face that enemy. I failed. Again, and again. This camp isn't new. You've been on Odessan for a while. When the Republic surrendered to Arkan, I gave myself to the will of the Force. I left the Core Worlds and found this planet. We've been here for years, waiting. You went underground to regroup, but how did you know I'd come here too? Our journey here wasn't about you. Not originally. We sensed your awakening on Zakul. Felt the presence of our old enemy guiding you. We witnessed the victories and defeats leading you here. When we found you in that clearing, we faced a choice. Bring you here. Or end you there. You're saying it was pure chance that you found me out there? Of course not. There are unseen influences working through me. Alcorian. And especially you. You've changed in ways we still don't understand. Whatever his reasons, Valkorion has opened you to powers and a destiny. Far beyond the horizon of your old life. You have much to learn. Follow us. Seek the answers throughout the valley. You will know when you find them. There is no greater challenge than to change from within. But that is what we all must do to survive. Powerful among us couldn't stand against the endless legions of Zakul. Even the Sith Empire learned that lesson too late. On countless worlds, I watch Jedi sacrifice themselves to delay inevitable defeat. They will not let them make their fate. Thank <laughs> you. 
I went to Zakul in secret to see the Eternal Throne myself. I still bear the scars of that journey. On Odessan, light and dark exist in perfect balance, forming a nexus in the Force. There is another world like it, Zakul. Arkan and his knights learned to use the Force in a different way from Jedi and Sith. It's why we couldn't truly defeat them. I faced plenty of warriors from Zakul. They fell, the same as everyone else. Don't confuse them with Arkan. And his sister is another problem entirely. Jedi approach the Force as a companion, and Sith try to enslave it. But Arkan's knights believe the Force is their reward for serving an ideal. They swear their lives to the Eternal Emperor. The more they honor his commandments, the greater their power. The knights obey their master without question, sacrificing everything for his triumph. Devotion makes them strong. You must become stronger. The Knights of Zakul are slaves to the Eternal Emperor. I will never be like them. Those who do not bend, break. Darth Maul. Alcorian destroyed my flesh, but not my reason for being. Is defeating your old master so important that you refuse to die? I have no use for vengeance. My goal remains the same. Defend the Empire. After my defeat, I sought an ally to make things right again. But only one in all the galaxy was my equal. We met on this world. We argued, explored, and found an understanding. We now pass that knowledge to you. I can't decide what's worse. That you went soft or Satil fell to the dark side. If our roles were reversed, I'd feel the same doubt. No one is more surprised than I am to be here in this moment. But I trust the will of the Force. We do not offer empty platitudes. We do not promise easy victory. All we ask is that you listen with an open mind and learn from our failures. To forge the future, you must first break with the past. Victory over Arkan requires new perspectives and new weapons. Follow the will of the Force into the wilderness beyond this camp. Find what we left for you and meet us in the cave.
enemy stole his empire through deceit and murder. He's accustomed to the dark. You must strike where he's blind. From within. be enough to defeat Arkin. His eternal throne and fleet of commands are the greatest threats our galaxy has ever faced. The force is in motion, and we must follow. The old ways aren't enough. We'll show you the new way. I have a future, Valen, but you don't. Just the way I like it.
and sister. Valen was right here. No. That was merely a warning. A vision. You do not use the Force. 
but Valkorion's power lets you glimpse through it. Heed what you saw. Behind Arkhan stands Valen, and behind her, many others. They will all try to stop you. The weapon you wield was built for a different war, a different enemy. It no longer serves you. It must change, as you have. The devices I found out there, I can build a new weapon with them. Much more than that. A projection of your will. Wield it wisely, and you will unite the stars beneath your own banner. We offer to add our strength to yours, but you must be the guiding hand. Focus the power, and decide what form it takes. I'm ready when you are. There's no defeat I can't overcome. It's done. That weapon is part of you now. The next time you face Arkan in battle, he will not be ready for it. But violence can only destroy. It doesn't inspire others to greatness, and it can never rebuild. Only a leader can do that. I once thought it enough to be the unstoppable force between my people and the enemy. I faced Valkorion and refused to bend. That choice broke me and doomed the worlds I sought to defend. I sent Jedi to fight an enemy I didn't understand, because I believed in the justness of my cause. Those deaths still haunt me. We know what it means to fail those who counted on us. We would spare you that pain. I've been a leader before. I know what it takes to win a war. Havoc Squad achieved great things as a small team under your command, but this is different. Leading this alliance is unlike anything you have done before. Directing the war effort is a mere fraction of the burden you must bear. You must not only know when to fight, but when to retreat, or even to make peace with your foe. There is an oasis not far from this cave. Your final lesson waits there. is a paradox. It empowers and imprisons. It destroys and unites. It binds the galaxy together and tears people apart. It has a will, but needs a commander.
You killed her children. She will devour you as revenge. What hope do you have to escape such raw fury? You created peace from a violent confrontation. Impressive. Some believe you are destined to walk this path. Others think you make the choices that decide their fates. Your alliance will collapse if you do not know yourself and the ideal you serve. Do you understand? There is no destiny. My choices make all the difference. Your way is clear. And so is ours. Do you feel it, Mar? Force draws us elsewhere. The exile on Odysseus is over. A new path has opened thanks to you. Our duty is to follow it. You can't leave. You've barely told me anything I need to know. You know what must be done. That's enough. Trust in the path ahead. The Alliance awaits its commander. Farewell. Recon team gave the all clear. We're entering sub-level four. Five by five, Major. Transmitting optimal path to the next security checkpoint. Try not to shoot everything this time. There are only so many storage lockers to put Sky Troopers in. Well, that's half the challenge. What kind of Sith are you? I've identified the hyperwave relay station's weak points. Demolition charges at each one will maximize the blast radius. You want to destroy our best chance to take control of the Eternal Fleet? Unbelievable. I feel my IQ dropping just hearing you talk. Maybe you'll forget how to breathe. Your mission's complete. Get off this channel. And my planet. Enough. Havoc Squad needs radio silence to do its job. Where the blazes have you been? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. I thought we were past keeping secrets from each other. Hold up, we've got trouble. A dozen knights coming behind us. Someone found your mess on level 19. If that was true, there'd be twice as many. Major? Major, come in. We've lost the signal. We could salvage the mission if we send our backup. She isn't backup. She's collateral damage. Hold on, Senya. The knights might kill her for us. I'd rather ask forgiveness than permission, but I don't need either of them. I'm halfway through level 10. Consider the mission complete. Understood and approved. Do whatever you have to. Always do. Oh, look. Things to shoot. Be seeing you. <laughs>